Hello, my name is Bob Chorley and in this short tutorial I just wanted to show you a few of the cool new features we've recently added to Baselight for Avid. First of all, we'll take a look at the improved timeline navigation features. I have a sequence here which has a Baselight grade already added to each shot. I'll open Baselight on the first shot by going into Effect Mode and clicking on Baselight in the Effect Editor. If I scrub through the shot using the keyframe navigation bar, you can see that I can only scrub through this shot. If I hit play, the playback loops within this shot. That's fine, but what if I want to move on to the next shot? Well, if you've used Baselight for Avid before, you'll be familiar with the F5 and F6 function keys. In previous versions, you could map these keys to the rewind and fast forward shortcuts in the Avid command palette, enabling you to jump from one shot to the next. However, you had to set it up manually, and the operation was a little cumbersome as it involved popping down the Baselight UI window, moving on to the next shot, and then popping the window open again. However, in this new version, the F5 and the F6 keys are automatically mapped, and the Baselight UI no longer has to pop down and up again between shots, which means you can seamlessly jump from one shot to the next. This works regardless of where the Baselight effect lies within the effect chain if you have multiple effects on one shot or if there are intermediate clips in the timeline which don't have baseline effects, it'll still skip on to the next grade. It even works on rendered baseline effects. This single improvement makes it so much easier to grade multiple shots within a sequence, and grading a complete TV episode or even a feature film with thousands of shots becomes more like using a full baseline grading system. The next feature I'm going to show you is also pretty cool, and will really speed up the grading process, especially if you have a long sequence with lots of clips. First, I'll open an ungraded version of this sequence. I've added a second video layer and put cut points between each scene using the Add Edit function. Now I can apply an overall grade to each scene by adding a baseline grade to filler between the cut points on the second video track. It's worth pointing out that when I say scene in this context, I'm referring to a scene within this TV episode and not a bass light scene. These are just bass grades I prepared earlier, but you would generally add a bass light effect to span a range of clips and then adjust it to give an overall look to all the shots. So this grade spans all the shots in the third scene. At the moment, I'm just using a couple of layers to set a basic starting point for the look of the scene. It doesn't look too bad, but as I drag through the shots, I can see that I'm going to need to refine the grade on most of them. One way to do that would be to return to the Avid timeline, find the cut point for the next shot, and add an edit to the filler, and then I can return to the baseline effect. Now I have a single grade just for this clip, which I can adjust independently of the rest of the scene. This process would get a bit tedious though if I had to do it on hundreds of shots, but luckily I don't have to. If I just move ahead to the next clip using F6, you can see that this grade currently spans all the clips in the rest of the scene. However, if I now want to refine the grade on just a single clip, I can park within the clip and then use the new subdivide at surrounding edits function in the edit menu. You can also do this using shift command K on the keyboard or shift control K on Windows. Now if I drag the cursor along the navigation bar, you'll see that this grade now only spans a single clip. So I can make an adjustment to it without affecting the other shots. I can repeat this process easily for all the shots I want to refine. You can see that I now have separate grade effects on each of these clips, 
whereas the rest of the scene is still spanned by a single grade. If I'm happy with the base grade across all these shots, then I can use this as a starting point for all the rest of the shots in the scene. If I now want to grade them all separately, I can select the Subdivide at All Edits function to split the grade filler into a separate effect for each clip. Now I can easily refine the grade on each shot using F5 and F6 to jump quickly between them as before. With a dialogue scene like this, you can also speed up the grading process using the scratch pad to copy grades. But that's the subject of another tutorial. So now we have a separate grade on each of these shots based on our original starting grade. The final subdivide option allows you to split the grade filler at the current frame. This could be useful if you're applying a grade across a dissolve or some other effect for example. The last feature I want to show you in this new release of Baselight for Avid is the ability to update an individual grade within a Baselight lens. Those of you who have used Baselight for Avid before will probably know that the Baselight lens automatically applies grades to multiple shots by importing BLG files and matching them up to clips in your timeline. Until now, the Baselight lens has been a read-only function within Avid. This meant that any changes you made to the master grade on your main Baselight system would be instantly reflected in your Avid grades via the lens. However, if you made any changes to the grades within Avid, they would not be saved, and as soon as you popped the Baselight UI back down again, the grade would revert back to the original grade stored in the lens. Now, however, you can save changes you make in Avid when using the Baselight lens. This sequence has grades applied from BLG files in this lens directory. I'm going to modify the grade on the first shot. I can now save these changes back into the lens by selecting this option from the BLG menu, or pressing Command-Alt-E on the keyboard. That's Control-Alt-E on Windows. When the new version is saved, you'll see a notification message at the top of the screen. And the lens status box now says there are two versions of this grade. The second one has a V2 added to the file name. Baselight for Avid always uses the highest version number for the current grade, as this would be the most recent version. If I make more changes to this grade and save those, this then becomes version 3, and so on. If I now close the Baselight UI, you'll see that the new grade is persistent. And if we look in the directory containing the lens BLG files, we can see the new version of the BLG file saved for this shot. If I now copy this lens back to the main Baselight suite, or to another Avid or a Nuke system running Baselight Editions, then they too will show the new version of the grade. To avoid having to remember to save a modified grade, you can set the on grade changes option for the lens to either automatically save the new grade or ask if you want to save it. Now when I modify the grade and close the Baselight UI, it asks me if I want to save the new version. I can even add new grades into the lens for shots that haven't been graded yet. As there is no existing BLG file to add a version to, Baselight makes up a file name based on the name of the clip. So there we have three very useful features which have been added to the latest version of Baselight for Avid. I hope you enjoy using them. 
Thank you for watching and please remember to check our website for other useful information and tutorials.